blood flow. It's not something we really feel or control, as important as it is. But understanding how the blood moves in the brain may help us understand why brain aneurysms develop and why they rupture. A brain aneurysm is an abnormal expansion of a blood vessel in the brain, caused by a weakening of the vessel wall. About 1 in 30 adults have a brain aneurysm. About one third of aneurysms found in people of working age will eventually rupture during their lifetime, of which 40% are fatal. When an aneurysm is discovered, several treatments are available. A clip may be placed across the aneurysm neck to prevent blood from entering the sac, though this requires invasive open skull surgery. A less invasive treatment uses coils or stents inserted through a catheter to seal the aneurysm off from the inside. Since a large number of aneurysms never rupture, the risk associated with preventative treatment can often exceed the natural risk of rupture. Clinicians and patients must decide whether to treat the aneurysm or to watch and wait. How can we know which aneurysms will rupture? Modern medical imaging and simulation techniques may help us get closer to finding a solution. Direct measurement of aneurysm properties such as wall thickness could help assess how vulnerable the wall is, but are difficult or impossible to obtain with current medical imaging techniques. We know that vessel walls react to blood flow patterns and that highly disturbed flow may make the wall weaker. Though we can't measure the blood flow dynamics directly, it's possible to replicate the dynamics through computer simulations based on patient data from medical imaging. We can simulate the blood flow by dividing the geometry into tiny elements and solving mathematical equations for flow on each element, a method known as computational fluid dynamics, or CFD. The resulting data shows how blood could realistically flow through the aneurysm. Blood flow in brain aneurysms is much more complex than previously thought often demonstrating turbulent-like qualities where simple laminar flows were thought to dominate. By performing these simulations, we try to quantify how blood flow may affect the aneurysm wall. Since the data is so complex, we also develop new measures to evaluate the blood flow and new ways to visualize and sonify the data. Working closely with Toronto Western Hospital's aneurysm clinic and the Perceptual Artifacts Lab at OCAD University, the Biomedical Simulation Lab is applying these tools and techniques to real patient data in order to provide clinicians with simple, quantifiable, and reliable information for helping them and their patients decide how best to treat the aneurysm.